Hello and welcome to the Everton News Daily. According to David Hellier, who was writing for Bloomberg, MSP Sports Capital are interested in purchasing Everton. Uh, they were... They seem to be interested in purchasing Everton right at the start of the uh, the takeover process. That didn't quite happen, and Triple Seven took over. Uh, but that has been ongoing for eight months, and with uh, the end, it seems in you know in sight now. I think Farhad Mashiri has to draw a line under this whole process if Triple Seven can't afford Everton Football Club. What does that mean? Well, it means that MSP have got an option to maybe buy in. Apparently, there are other people interested in purchasing Everton as well. If that is the case, then they need to come forward. Now is the opportunity to do it. But this story in Bloomberg suggests that MSP are exploring the opportunity to purchase Everton um, and and take it on. But again, I think for anybody to do it, Farhad Mashiri has to has to halt the, the talks with Triple Seven if they are unable to meet his obligations. Uh, Sean Dyche has today held his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's final home game of the season against Sheffield United. Uh, Sean Dyche was asked uh, for his thoughts on Everton's shareholders association statements which came out earlier this week, uh, re- asking Farad Mashiri to bring this whole uh, takeover process to a halt to enable other people to show whether they're interested or not in taking over the football club. This is what the manager had to say about that. Well, I wouldn't comment on their view. Um, I just think that I can only imagine, and some I know a little bit about it, you know, the last club was a takeover and it took a long time. Um, and, you know, there's a lot going on at this club. I think we've I think we've spoken on this subject before, obviously, and, and there's a lot going on. It's not just as simple as... The club's up and running and you just, you know, buy it. I don't think it's that situation. You've got, a, a, you know, new ground getting built. You've got the complexities of the finances here. That's become obvious. Um, staying in the division, which is now achieved, of course. There's a lot going on. So I don't know who all them p- uh, points are all necessary, but I would imagine there's a lot of detail that goes into buying this football club and, and that would take some time. There you go. Uh, Sean Dyche was uh, asked also about the situation of Everton players who are out of contract this summer. Obviously, the manager and the recruitment team are trying to sort their plans out for next season. But with all the uncertainty going on at the top of the club regarding takeovers and stuff, it it does make the whole process more, um, more difficult. But this is what the manager had to say about that one. Easy. (laughs) <laughs> that bit is easy. <laughs> Great fun it is too. Um, no, look, I mean, you know, we're having to uh, manage different situations the best we can. Kevin, his team, myself and the staff, looking at players, looking at options. Kirk, obviously, the ones in-house currently, the ones that are controllable as we see fit um, contractually, and then that would have to go to the interim board and still the owner is, is you know, in, in uh, ownership now. Um, to sign off in certain situations because the club has to keep moving forward, of course. Outside of that, more tricky on the transfer side because what money is available, what money gets generated as normal um, in a situation uh, in any summer period. Um, and trying to sort of imagine all these different scenarios and it's very difficult. It's difficult for, for Kevin, his team, difficult for me and the staff to navigate our way through and find out who we're keeping for sure. Fair to say an important factor that is, of course, securing Premier League status, of course, because it's a two-way thing, don't forget. It's not just us wanting players. Them and their advisors also look back at the club and say, right, OK, where's the club at? Well, the first big hurdle this season, particularly with points taken off us and, and the like, was to make sure we secure ourselves in the Premier League. So we've done that. So obviously that changes somewhat their view back to us as well. There you go. Um, Sean Dyke was also asked for a team update ahead of the Sheffield United game at the weekend, asking... You know, is the plan to look at options for next season, maybe play a couple of the young players? This is what the manager has to say regarding that one. Um, most are around it. Um, we've not got anyone seriously injured, so it should be the, the group ready to go again. And just off the back of that, um, there was questions regarding, I think Julia Bold asked the question regarding Seamus Coleman. There have been some rumours that... It could be his last season. It could be his last game at Goodison Park. Uh, the manager kind of hinted that that wasn't the case. Uh, said he felt Seamus wanted to carry on, which has obviously led to some rumours saying that he is now being offered a new deal. I'm sure that deal has been in the pipeline anyway. Um, 
but hopefully we'll get some clarification on that one. And just one little add on to a story that we uh, we spoke about yesterday, and that was Mitterland midfielder Emiliano uh, Martinez. We uh, we we reported it yesterday that Everton are interested in taking the player. Well, his agent Maurizio Macedo has said that uh, there is interest from Everton to take the midfield player to uh, Goodison Park for next season. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, Sean Dyke and the recruitment team looking at players to uh, bolster the squad for next season. So there you go, a little bit of an update on the story that we ran yesterday. That is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. See you later.